Bang! What's up, Will Phil number one fans and viewers? Scott Casey Dale here. And today, I'm gonna give you my recap and reveal of Better Call Saul, Season 5, Episode 9, entitled Bad Choice World. And it was written and directed by Thomas Schnorts. And, it, and I gotta say, it was a fantastic episode. I really enjoyed the penultimate episode of Better Call Saul. I've said many times before, Season 5 of Better Call Saul is the absolute best. I am I have loved it from beginning to end. And there's one episode left this season. Okay, let's begin the recap, shall we? Here we go. Jimmy and Mike make their way, way to a truck stop where Tyrus and Victor pick them up. Jimmy posts Lotto's veil and tells Lotto he was alone and walked after his car broke down. Lotto plans to return to Mexico. Gus realizes the men who ambushed Jimmy were hired by Juan Bosa to protect Gus's business. Jimmy lies to Kim about, about what happened, but Kim realizes the truth after she sees the bullet hole in his coffee mug. Kim quits Shrekart and, Co and Coakley to focus on pro bono clients. Mike tells Jimmy his, his post-traumatic stress will pass with time. Lotto discovers Jimmy's car and returns to Albuquerque instead of waiting for the cousins to bring him to, to Mexico. Mike calls to warn Jimmy just before Lotto arrives at Kim's apartment. As Mike tra trains his sniper for rifle on Lotto from a nearby wharf, Lotto has Jimmy repeat the story of this desert war, then asks about the bullet holes in Jimmy's car. Kim tells Lotto that the car was probably destroyed by passerby and berates him from not trusting Jimmy. Lotto appears satisfied with Kim's argument and departs. He tells Nacho to head for Mexico, but not the original pickup site. And I would give this episode 5 stars, a 10 out of 10, and an 8 triple plus. Really amazing episode, especially the ending where um, Lotto confronted Kim and Jimmy in Kim's apartment. That scene was absolutely intense, especially with um, Mike Ermentrop pointing the sniper rifle at them from a nearby world. I mean, for a moment, I thought that Mike was actually gonna, gonna shoot and kill Lotto, but that didn't happen. And what I also loved is how um, Kim put Lotto in his place and told him off. And he was actually satisfied with it. Wow. Just what, like I said, that scene was absolutely intense. I and mean, the acting on Better Call Saul is phenomenal. And this season has just been amazing. And, and I can't wait to see what happens in next week's season finale. Will Lotto get killed and will Mike be the one to do it or will Jimmy do it? And it looks like Kim is in danger, but will she get killed or... I don't think so. I, I don't see that happen to Kim Kim Wexer. But, so, but I got to say, something unexpected is going to happen in, this, in episode 10, which is uh, the season 5 finale. Because the name of the season 5 finale is Something Unforgivable. Ooh, and it's directed by Peter Gould. Wow. Something Unforgivable. What's going to happen that's going to become something unforgivable? Anyway, like I said, Great episode. Comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you thought of this episode. And, and what do you and what, and what do you think is going to happen in, in the season 5 finale? Anyway, you stay classy. Live long and prosper and peace out. And I will be back here next week to do my Better Call Saul season 5 episode 10 finale reveal. And um, it has been renewed for uh, season 6. And, and, and next season, season 6 will be the final season of Better Call Saul. So that's going to happen next season. Anyway... Anyway, I will see you next week. Good night, everybody.